going on guys and today we are looking on a E70 2007. I start polishing, I basically finished the hood, bumper and uh, side panels, the front panels. But for it now we're going to be concentrating on the cheeps that are from the rocks. So there is a bunch of like small spots in there. And uh, I already picked up the original paint, I actually had it with the car. But anyway, I'm not going to be doing the original brush which came with the uh, paint. I'm going to be using the pin tool. So it's going to be ideal for the really small spots like this and especially these guys. I'm not going to be really worried about it like smaller chips like, like all of those guys. Might be some of them. That's what we're going to be using to actually fix it. Well, let's start with the bigger one. Let's shake the paint. So I would say to use something like bottle cap, it's even easier because uh, you basically can put some paint on it, get as much as you need. So for that particular spot, I just fill it up, overfill the actual the dent and uh, we'll wait until it's going to dry out. But for the smaller spots, for example this one, it's just going to be the really small dot. Also, uh, for those guys, we're gonna be able to actually use the rubbing alcohol and try to like wash it out the leftovers. So we got here, even bigger spot, and uh, unfortunately I cannot do anything about it. I can fill up the actual groove here, but cannot do anything about that spot because it was sanded down. Somebody just been trying to steal the actual cap, the BMW logo cap. So don't be scared to just smear it all over the place. After you're gonna sand it down a little bit, it's not gonna be that visible. Or even rubbing alcohol or acetone gonna help you a lot. play with that all day long but uh, we'll see the end result after it's gonna dry out we'll see how easy it's going to be to use the rubbing alcohol so for that area on a bumper I'll use the brush and try to brush it up a little bit basically our paint is dry out and uh, all the spots here I uh, will simply take the acetone and just rub it a little bit and it looks really nice not like perfect, but but it looks much better than it was. What we can do about that little scratch here? I'm gonna be using the actual brush and gonna do a little smear, just kind of a lot here. We're going to be able to. But it's not bad actually, uh, we're going to be able to actually send it down, so nothing to worry about it. And put the actual smaller spots like the corners, we can wipe them out, but we're gonna do it later on uh, whenever they actually uh, spot kind of dries out. I'm doing it after I actually polish the car. Better way uh, to do it before you polish it. Actually, I wash it out too much. Still some paint inside, but uh, it's not that good. The bigger one here, it's gonna be the quite a challenge cause the acetone gonna dissolve everything in there. And basically, as you can see, We kind of managed to uh, get less exposed the actual scratch, but still that spot is still there. So it is what it is. So guys, basically that's it. That's how easy to uh, work with the rock chips. 
And uh, that's it. If you liked the video, please put the thumbs up button there, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment below. I'll see you next one.